Welcome back to Black News Tonight. For nine incredible seasons, the TV dramedy, The Game, captivated viewers with its, with its examination of black culture through the prism of pro football. Well, now The Game has returned in a brand new revival of the series. That's right, y'all. The two-part premiere episode debuted today on Paramount Plus, and in it, we see that the show has relocated from San Diego to Las Vegas, and it features a mix of new players plus original cast members and tackles tough issues, social issues even, with a fresh realness. Take a look. And producer himself, Jose Chanchez. Welcome to the show, my brother. It's always good to see you. Talk, I, 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 you know I'm hyped, man. When, when the game first went off, <laughs> I was hyped that it hit BET, and I, 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 I was so hyped that y'all hit record numbers on BET, and then the show... Uh, when it ended on BET, I was waiting for the next round. I was waiting for this to happen. I was worried y'all wasn't going to come back, but y'all did. And a whole bunch of folks hype, man. Tell you've me about the revival. Well, first of all, you've always been a champion of the show since day one, brother. So thank you so much for your support um, every step of the way. And honestly, brother, this is such a surreal journey because this doesn't happen. Three times a show to come back. Three times is just not only unprecedented, but you don't really know where to unpack it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. I'm really still pinching myself. Wendy and myself, we're still not uh, fully grasping the idea that this show has come back for a third time on a third network um, because of the fans, because of the fans of the show. No, it, it's absolutely the fans. And so each time, or at least the last time it came back, not just different but better in a lot of ways it was more dramatic the, the storylines were more powerful talk to me about this time How, what's going to be different what's going to be the same so this time what's beautiful about this world now is that the reason why the show can keep coming back and having life is because it's it's about football which is still a part of our american culture it's still very prevalent um in our culture and society and at the forefront of so many changes. So what's great about it now is that we get to explore the world of football that we live in today, which is completely if it's completely mm. different. The players are different. The field is different. The world is different um, than it was when we ended six years ago. So it's exciting to get to do this in this way. So what's different is that the, this world is more grounded now. Um, it kind of represents the grittiness and the darkness in, in a way of the world that we live in. Um, and always, you know, in our culture with black people, we always going to find the funny in there. So the funny isn't at the forefront as it was before uh, with the show, but the, the funny is weaved throughout the show um, in a way that black people handle situational comedy in dark and, and gloomy times. So it'll be more grounded. It'll be a little bit darker, but it'll still be funny. Um, but it'll also represent the America that we live in today and the way our players are on the forefront of change um, in our lives. So, yeah, that's the difference. One of the things I like... No, that's a huge difference, man. One of the things I love about the show also is this thing mm -hmm. of second chances. Uh, Malik mm -hmm. Eldebarge, right, has had second chances before we've seen yeah. him go through all kinds of journeys and changes. Um, talk to me a little bit about the new direction in his life that he's going. I don't want you to spoil too much, but it seems to me that he's looking for a new okay. direction and another chance. Yeah, you know, what's beautiful about Hosea, the actor, getting to experience Malik in the world that he's in now is because Hosea's going through a lot of change in my life, too. Uh, so mm. the, the credibility that I can lend to the journey of the character is a lot different, especially at 40. Like, being a 40-year-old man now, <laughs> the world is a lot different than when I was 25 or 24 when I first got the role. So... Amen. What I've been able to do, luckily, and amen to that, but, and, and thank God, man, that, you know, being a producer on the series and I'm going to direct some episodes and just having more of a hands-on, um, a hands-on journey this time around allows me to give my character something that I felt he didn't get the first two rounds, which was a well-rounded life. And the good thing about this, the topics that we're dealing with through the lens of Malik, through the eyes of Malik, is it's some issues in our society that uh, that he's dealing with that we are all dealing with. And one of those things is mental health without going too, too far into the story. Um, but being able to tell those stories and have that resolve through the lens of this character, through some things that we've all gone through, because everybody's different uh, post COVID, 
or in the mix of COVID, wherever we are, we're all different today than we were a year and a half ago. So the character is different and he's influenced by society in a lot of ways, but we get to go back into his life and tell a deeper and darker story of who he is that that's making him a more well-rounded person. If that makes sense. <laughs> no, that makes a whole, that makes a whole lot of sense, man. And again, it's an intellectual journey for us from, from the original airing till now in terms of watching the show get more nuanced, the script get more nuanced, the characters get more interesting and dynamic. Uh, but like you said, it's grounded in today. I love all of it. The other thing I saw in that clip uh, was Wendy Raquel Robinson. I know Adrian Ray is on the show. Vaughn Hebron is mm -hmm. on the show. Um, what's the cast yep. like? Man, you know what? These these guys have come into this world and they really made it their own because it's not an easy world to come into. Because let's be clear, this show, Wendy Raquel Robinson put the the first brick into this show. And so it's not easy coming in to uh, people who have already established the world and their characters in the way that we have. Um, and in a way that's so familiar to, to America and generations, which is also the reason why I wanted to do it again is because they actually get to grow up with different generations of people through inclinations of the show um and so they've come in and they have made this their own they have come in and i'm gonna tell you these are some fun cats to work with but not only that they're really good actors which i'm proud about that more so than anything because they can they can stand up in a room with you know malik and natasha and it's more so with natasha because you know wendy is a brilliant actress and she's a beast so you gotta have your ish together if you're gonna be in the scene with that woman uh, that, that's facts man I love it and and I hope you know you're in that same tier you're in that same class you have demonstrated it, not just over the nine seasons of the game but throughout your entire career my brother I'm so proud of you I'm so proud of the work I'm so proud of the script I'm so proud of the fact that y'all shooting in the black cultural mecca of Atlanta y'all doing this black all the way through yes, and it is so so good Brother, thank you so much for stopping by the show. It's always good to talk to you. And again, best of luck with the new season of the show.